Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. In this episode, I will be exploring the local music scene here in Austin, Texas. While I have been exploring Austin, I spoke with several locals on where I should go to see live music. I was looking to bounce between smaller bars and clubs to see local bands and possibly meet some local musicians. With this being my goal, most people recommended I head to the East 6th Street bar scene. Once I got to 6th Street, I did find a ton of bars and clubs. Most were your standard DJ with club music, but there were still several bars that had live music with local country, rock, and blues artists. This is the first place I stopped at. It's called Pete's Dueling Piano Bar. Whenever I was at a bar when I could make requests, I was requesting one of two Stevies that week. It was either Stevie Ray Vaughan or Stevie Wonder. To be honest, these guys were so talented I feel like you could have thrown pretty much anything at them and they could have played it. enjoying listening to these guys play so I stuck around for a few more songs and a couple more beers of course I don't know about anybody else but this song always makes me think of it's always sunny in Philadelphia These guys were awesome, but it was time to move to the next bar. I know that we're mainly focused on this guy shredding guitar, but does anybody else notice how chill this bass player is while he's just tearing it up? This was probably my favorite bar in all of Austin. It's called The White Horse. The back part of The White Horse is an outdoor section where there's a taco truck attached, and then there's this piano in the back that anybody's free to play. Yet again, I found another talented piano player. Time to request some Stevie Wonder. The guy who's playing the piano's name is Colin. Him and I would chat for a while whenever he'd take a break from playing piano. He let me know that he comes to the White Horse pretty frequently just to play piano so he doesn't piss off his neighbors and get the cops called on him. He was born and raised in Austin, Texas, but moved out to San Francisco to pursue a programming career. 
After living there for a couple years, COVID hit. Then after working remote for several months, he asked if he could move out of the San Francisco Bay Area. Once I gave him the green light, he packed up and moved straight back home to Austin, Texas. I asked him if he currently played in any bands or if he was recording anything. He said that he wasn't in any bands and he hadn't really recorded anything, but he did have an original that he could play for me. He said that one of his favorite genres to play was ragtime blues, so he picked an original from that genre. And this is it. I'll stop talking for a while so you guys can listen. Near the end of the night, another guy asked if he could play. After he finished playing, I talked to him for a while, and he was actually born and raised in New Orleans. He was here in Austin evacuating from Hurricane Ida as well. He told me that he lived in one of the mandatory evacuation zones, and he really didn't know if he was going to have anything to go home to when this was all said and done. Unfortunately, being born and raised in New Orleans, this wasn't his first time going through something like this. His resilience and strength in something that I couldn't even imagine was truly inspiring. To everyone that I met that night at the White Horse, thank you so much for an amazing evening, and I hope to see you all again soon someday. Time to finally hear from that other Stevie. This is Paul Val fulfilling my request to play some Stevie Ray Vaughan. I was really enjoying this bar and the music that was being played, so I decided to end my night here. Once the band finished playing, I went up and talked to them for a while and told them how much I enjoyed their performance. I asked if they had any shows later that week and they were actually playing the same bar the next night. I told them about my road trip going across the country from Music City to Music City, just exploring the scenes. I asked them if they had any interest in me coming back the next night to do a photo shoot for them. They happily agreed, so I planned on coming back the next night to do a photo shoot of the whole show. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.